judge even against the blocker transcript. transcript before all the other witnesses you mean, testified. You mean Adam Schiff made the argument? I'm just putting it out there for you to respond. There's an argument against releasing who, the blocker. Who made the argument? I, I haven't heard that argument. And so at, at this I mean, particular, there's that an that argument that against that transparency? Judge? Well, there, there's there's an argument. No, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. There's an argument in favor of cherry picking selective releases of texts. There's an argument in favor of only telling the American public what is best in the interest of wanting to take down a sitting president. Maybe you should ask what was said inside of Volcker's deposition during his transcribed interview with regards to Adam Schiff's fairy tale quid pro quo charge that aid from the United States to Ukraine was being linked to an investigation into the Bidens. Why don't you ask, what did Ambassador Volker say about that? That's a great question. I'm glad that you asked that question. And I'll tell you the reason why that question was so important for you to ask is for many things, because he was in this room for several hours. And during several hours of testimony, he talked about how President Zelensky had no idea that there was a hold on aid at the time of the July 25th call. Ambassador Volker testified about how the readouts of the phone call that was made to him, that he had, that there was nothing in the readouts about there being a hold on US aid or a quid pro quo. Or Ambassador Volker testified, this is what the transcribed interview would tell you. If you ask this question, I'm glad that we were having this discussion. The next day, Ambassador Volker meets with President Zelensky. And in that meeting, there is no reference to a quid pro quo or President Zelensky having any idea that there was a hold on aid. Or, over the course of Ambassador Volker's next several weeks engaging with Ukraine, Ukraine makes no reference to there being a hold on aid or there being a quid pro quo. And by the way, you know what else Ambassador Volker testified to? This entire time, the aid was getting released. It was going to get released. And guess what happened? The aid got released. And you know what didn't have to happen? There was no new investigation that had to get created. This whole thing is a fairy tale. Adam Schiff is misleading you, and you're playing along with it. Many of you are, and the American public is then getting deceived. When Adam Schiff said, for example, that President Trump was asking President Zelensky to manufacture dirt on the Bidens, you know what Ambassador Volker testified to? That was absolutely untrue. Now that's what we would call an inconvenient fact for the narrative. You know what else Adam Schiff has been saying to you and the American public that was not true? That he had no contact with the whistleblower. He'd like to, but he didn't have any contact. He lied. You know what else he lied about? When he gave his opening statement from the acting director of national intelligence Brown as Ford. to what was in, in front of the world as far as what the transcribed interview said. Now going back to Ambassador Volker's transcribed interview and a process, we were here ready to do our part. If anyone is going to testify behind those closed doors, we're going to make sure that we're there to ensure that the other 99% of the story is being told. Because guess what? If we weren't there last Thursday, <laughs> you would have no idea of everything that Ambassador Volker said to obliterate Adam Schiff's fairy tale quid pro quo charge. You would have no idea. So we're here. Now, as far as the administration goes, if they don't want to send Ambassador Sondland here because this is a kangaroo court, because there has not been a vote to launch an impeachment inquiry. Because minority does not have any rights for subpoenas. Because the president doesn't have the right to have counsel present to ask questions, for subpoena power, to present evidence. This entire thing is a political charade, is a clown show. We're here, we're ready for whoever's going to be testifying in the other room. But we have to be here because if we're not, Adam Schiff sure as heck is not going to tell you. Because all he has to do is right now release that transcribed interview. Because he won't, because it destroys his narrative. It undercuts it, it blows it up. That's what we heard over the course of several hours. And by the way, you know, uh, Jerry Connolly comes on to you know, Aaron Burnett's show on CNN at 7 o'clock on Thursday. And they have a back and forth. They play a clip from Jim Jordan, they play a clip from me. Where they're basically saying, you know, Jerry Connolly, you didn't hear anything of what Jim Jordan and Lee Zeldin says that they heard, right? And they have this back and forth, basically dumbing down their audience. And what isn't pointed out in that back and forth... as far as what Ambassador Volker testified to, credibly, exceptionally, professionally. But you're not asking any of the most important questions. Some of you are, but many of you aren't asking the most important questions, such as, 
What did you hear last Thursday that we don't yet know about? Adam Schiff won't answer, but he should. He should release the transcript. 